Today we're talking all about how you organize your diapers and your snacks. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, and on this channel we talk about everything from product reviews, bag reviews, and more. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Today I'm going to walk you through part two in my series all about how to organize your diaper bag, or handbag for that matter. Um, and today we're gonna talk about how to organize your diapers and how to organize your snacks. And as always, if you're looking for links, I will put all of them in the description box down below. There are so many different options. How do you know what's best? I'm about to show you my favorite. Let's start talking about snack containers with how to transport snacks, whether you're transporting them in small containers or large containers where your kids can grab the food. Um, these are my favorites. So. If you have small kiddos, the Munchie Mug is my absolute number one pick. You can't go wrong. It has a handle and it's also spill resistant. It has this stretchy lining right here that prevents spills from happening. It is absolutely my favorite. Another container that allows your kiddos to grab their own snacks is the Gobi Snack Spinner. Let me tilt the camera down and show you how this works. So I have an entire video dedicated to the Snack Spinner, but really quickly, you have this little lock here on the side that releases the button, and then the button allows you to pivot in between all of the snacks. When they reach the one they want, they just pop it right open. Love this as an option for older kiddos and for trying to transport a number of fun snacks at the same time. I also love the slim profile and it's dishwasher safe. Now, say you're going to a theme park and you need to carry snacks for the day. Um, you may opt if you only have one kiddo or a couple of kiddos or not needing to bring a whole bunch, for the Skip Hop snack container, this breaks down into three separate little containers, which I love because you can separate them and take them as you want. Um, but the capacity that it holds is probably like a medium capacity compared to the Sumo. This is from Zoli. This has been a long time favorite. If you've been around on my channel for a while, you've seen me talk about this one for ages. Um, the Sumo is the best at carrying the most snacks in a completely sealable container. It does break down into three separate pieces. So if you want to only take one or two, you could, or of course, all three. The Sumo is a great container to use to carry the most amount of snacks you need. Um, the Skip Hop is another great option. Moving from snack containers to snack bags, there are so many options and these are my tried and true absolute favorite. I love a snack bag to be not clear. I like it to be um, a solid color so that my kids can't see what's inside. Otherwise, I get asked for snacks all day long. I mean, I do anyways, but this little pouch I got from Amazon, it was under $10 and it is a really great capacity. It can hold quite a bit. Love that. Packed Party has a really cute option. It has little streamers inside and a sparkly sil silver zipper. Love this. If you're looking for a flat pouch, Maybe you prefer something a little bit slimmer profile. I love using this Packed Party confetti case. Um, it is a little see-through, so that's the downside on that. But this one from 12 Little is great, and it's also insulated. So they have this like waterproof zipper, and it is insulated on the inside, which makes it great if you're carrying snacks or things that need to be kept cool. Next, let's talk about slim profile cases. If you're looking to carry granola bars or something that you don't want to get smushed, I love using things like this. This is just a little pouch I found in the dollar spot, but it is perfect. It's like a little pencil case and it, it's perfect for granola bars. Keeps them safe from being smushed. This other small case from Truffle is really cute. It's a leather case, so the price point's gonna be a little bit higher, um, but I love the quality materials and how sleek it looks in the bag. Again, you do have a clear window, so that's something to keep an eye out for, but um, definitely a great option. Since we're talking about snacks, I just want to mention that the Me For Kids Med Kit, which costs, you know, five to six bucks, um, has all of the med supplies come in this little plastic case. I love using these for like baby teething wafers. It's a hard case, so it's perfect because um, nothing will get smushed inside. There's a pro tip. Here are a couple of miscellaneous pouches because snack bags, of course, can come in so many different shapes and sizes, all based on what you need. So if you're going to the pool or to the beach, um, a silicone case could be a good option for you. These two are from O Venture. Daggy Dover has these really cute neoprene cases um, in all different sizes, and they have a really slim profile and made of lightweight neoprene. My Stony Clover small pouch 
is a great thing to use for snacks. You can also use this for diapers and things, which we'll be talking about later. Um, but yeah, this is also an option. So, so many cases, it's important to know really what you're looking for in a snack pouch. And I hope that this was a little helpful. So as you can see, snack containers can come in so many different shapes and sizes. There's so many options. Now let's talk about diapers. I have so many things to say when it comes to transporting diapers and potty training gear. And so I wanted to start with clutches. The Baby Bumco clutch was one of my OG favorites. Um, it has the wipes container out here on the outside. So all you have to do is flip this with one hand, grab your wipe out and go. There's an extra pocket on the back. And then the inside is perfect to store all the things, diapers, wipes. I even have my little tiny like travel potty here that we could toss into these so you could see a little travel potty if you're going with a potty trainer. I love, love, love this. They have another version now that is made out of vegan leather and has a crossbody strap. So you can repurpose it as like a crossbody bag for you when this is all, you know, potty training is behind you. So here is the Bumco clutch all packed up. I did remove the wipes case so I could show you a little closer what that looks like. It has this little plastic top and then it zippers closed with this little slider right here. So all you have to do is refill it and then pop it in the front of the bag. Super quick and easy and so convenient. So inside here I have all of my diapering gear. I have my pull-ups, my wet bag, my all-over ointment down there. And then in the outside pocket, so I don't have to go digging, I put my post-its. And these are for the sensor on the automatic flush potties so they don't scare your kiddos. The next diaper clutch I want to talk about is from 12 Little. And their diaper clutch is so luxe and so beautiful. It's made with high quality materials. It's quilted. It even has this little zipper stop. I have a full review on this bag, which I'll link up in the cards. Um, but it has a little zipper stop right here on the side so that you can zip it and then it'll stop the zipper so you can reach in and just grab what you need. On the inside of this bag, let me kind of pop that off. On the inside of the bag, you have a mesh pouch. You have a place to hold your wipes. You have a little loop if you want to put like diaper cream or um, an extra bottle or something for your kiddo in there. This little mesh pouch is removable, snaps in and out. You have a sleeve right here. And then on the back of the bag, there's another pocket, um, which is just completely open. And a really nice sturdy strap so that you can repurpose this bag beyond your baby potty training years. Um, it also has really great hardware that's engraved with the 12 little name. And of course, if we wanna take our little travel potty, we can fit it in there, no problem at all. Here's a quick look at all of my diaper needs inside of the 12 little clutch. As you can see, I still have space to carry an extra pair of clothes or set of clothes for my kiddos. A whole bunch more here in the center mesh pocket, maybe even like a little med kit. And then I can put all of my mommy needs over here in this back pocket. There's more than enough space in there as well. These are my two picks for crossbody diaper clutch options. Let's look at another way to carry diapers. The next way I want to talk about are flat pouches and they come in so many different varieties. This one from 12 Little comes in a trio of pouches. So it has a large, which is what this is. It has a medium and then it also has a small, which is this little clear one. And it comes with a little wristlet strap and then a couple of different pattern options. Here it is with all of my diapering needs in it. More than enough space to even hold like a change of clothes if you needed to. And now let me show you what it looks like with the little potty seat in there. So I removed the pull-ups and put in the potty seat. Fits no problem at all. Lily Jade is also in a trio of pouches and this is their clear front mauve packing case with the silver hardware. Has a great wristlet strap here and like I said, comes with three other sizes, a medium and a small. The diapers, wipes, and all of my contents inside the large packing case from Lily Jade. All of the ones I'm about to show you are flat packing cases, but they do differ in their appearance and their materials. So the Lily Jade packing case is made of nylon and so you can machine wash this um, but you can see here that it has a clear front which is amazing because if you're a new mom you don't want to be struggling you tell your husband to go to the diaper bag and grab the diapers and he's like what <laughs> so with a clear front you can actually see everything that you have inside it with ease let me go ahead and show you how our little travel potty fits in there so i'm going to remove the pull-ups and then here is my little travel potty in the case no problem. 
The MC Wallace Metro Pouch is a great option for someone that needs to carry a ton of stuff because this is a really, really big pouch. So you can see there, it's a little bit more space up on the top and then wider on the sides. So just to give you an idea, if you're putting your diapering gear in here, even with this, the little travel potty, I mean, I still have a ton of space. And it even has a little zipper pocket back here in the, bot in the back. So if you needed to add some more gear, you could with no problem at all. If you're on the hunt for a good affordable option, this pouch trio from Jujube just might be for you. It is a wet dry option, machine washable, and comes with a trio of pouches. Um, this is all of my diapering supplies inside of the pouch. They fit no problem at all. And if I take them all out, it can also hold the travel potty. I can fit that in here as well. The large compares in size closest to the 12 little. It is just a smidge smaller as you can see right there. The last option I wanna show you is the one that I'm currently using and it's the Aloha pouch. This is their small pouch and it's made of a Tyvek coated material. So it is ultra lightweight and washable. And let me go ahead and take out what I have inside. And that all fit in this little case with no problem at all. I love that it's super, super lightweight, so no issues there, and it's super easy to clean if something were to get on it. And what's kind of cool about this one is it doubles as a wet bag, so if you have any soiled clothing you need to separate, this could be a good option too. When it comes to pouches, there are so many options to choose from, so I hope that this little overview of some of my favorites was helpful. Okay guys, so that is it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know in the comment box down below what you want to see in part three, and I'll see all of you guys again in my next one. Bye!